hi everyone uh, today i am going to speak about melanocyte transplantation melanocyte transplantation is a advanced surgical treatment for vitiligo vitiligo means leucoderma white patches vitiligo is a immunological disease and most of uh, you must be knowing about it and normally when we have a vitiligo we will go to a dermatologist for treatment of the vitiligo because in vitiligo also called leucoderma skin develops white patches and the reasons are mostly immunological and the severity age of onset and not predictable at all but if it develops in children usually it responds well so i am going to explain you how do we manage a, a stable vitiligo patient stable vitiligo means any leucoderma patch which is stable for more than a year more than one and a half year without any change means somebody has developed a vitiligo patch and there is no change in the patch it is either may, may neither decreasing nor increasing in size and he is not developing any new patches and same time that patch whatever is existing is not going in those cases nowadays a best uh, there are many treatments for that skin grafting is old uh, treatment where we'll take out a patch of the skin and put on the white pa white uh, patch area the disadvantage of this is it is going to leave a bad uh, uh, a, a scar like thing and a margin and a patch like appearance is still going to be visible so later there are new methods like blister grafting punch grafts were developed but present modern treatment for stable vitiligo is important point in here is stable vitiligo that means person should not have increase or decrease in the vitiligo patches those patients are eligible to undergo this procedure somebody just recently developed a vitiligo patch and uh, <clears throat> just few weeks back few months back and undergoing surgical treatment is not right and they are not been getting benefited with this type of treatment and here in stable disease i am going to explain you about melanocyte transplant melanocyte transplant is we harvest a, a skin graft thin skin graft from a area usually leg or thigh and prepare culture uh, melanocytes from that skin how do we prepare and how do we graft a, that area and how do we get benefited finally and how long will it take to cover i am going to explain you and in the video you are seeing uh, these are the patches and i have harvested a small piece of skin graft from the thigh and the grafted uh, the graft harvested area is covered and whatever skin graft is there i am going to extract melanocytes from there how do we extract melanocyte uh, preparation from that because skin graft has got some collagen layers that is why we'll trypsinize it trypsin is an enzyme and we put a skin graft in the trypsin solution for 1 hour and put it in an incubator usually at body temperature and slightly on the higher side of the body temperature and suggested temperature is usually 40 to 45 degrees centigrade then take out that uh, incubated melanin uh, melanocyte uh, mixed skin graft and <coughs> we'll shred that graft into multiple mi minute pieces you can see in the video and that is again put it in the centrifuge once it is centrifuged for 5 to 7 minutes and by that time i'll i'll prepare the donor i mean recipient area where the white patch is there you can see here i am rubbing the white patch with a, a bar and drill a fine layer is removed under magnification so that you can see a, a red a raw area there and i am going to apply immediately the melanin uh, solution in that that graft whatever is solution prepared in the farm and I'm, I, I, I use a pipette or a probe like substance the thing and put it on the graft and slowly and, and 
So just leave that area for 45 minutes, get it dry and put a small dressing and allow the patient to move around without any problem. And wait for 4 to 6 weeks that area. How is that going to act? How is that going to work? See here what we have done is, we have implanted melanocytes in a rock, on an area where there is no melanocyte, that white area. The melanocytes get implanted there. The function of melanocytes is producing melanin pigment. And evenly the pigment gets produced in that area and the area will become dark slowly over 4 to 6 weeks. And uh, regarding advantages of this procedure, the best match with the surrounding skin. You don't see any edges and multiple in some areas where you can't fix a graft and a skin graft, best is this one, melanocyte uh, transplant. And if some areas are, if one a patient has got large areas, then we can stage it and do the procedure. We don't have to cover the whole area in one go. And the patient can be ambulated immediately, don't have to take any, re any rest. There is nothing much patient is going to lose. Whatever the area is going to be covered, it will become dark slowly. Or, and we can repeat the procedure after two months or three months again for some other areas. And you can see some of these results and it's the most promising treatment, melanocyte transplant for vitiligo patches. Thank you.